South Line District has eight game passes, which all of these game passes contain tier fours, fallen flags, heritages, customs, you name it. And this is gonna be cheapest to most expensive. And now let's start the video, cause I'm bored already. First one, Norfolk Southern's DC to AC game pass. This is South Line's cheapest game pass of it being worth 50 Robux. And for 50 Robux, it really isn't bad for just five locomotives, unlike someone. I mean me personally, just by looking at these locomotives from far, they look exactly the same, but once you look at them closely, you realize that some of these are in different colors and all these locomotives have different horns just because of that i'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. number two the bn executives me personally i could see why this is a game pass the executive paint scheme is so iconic and for 65 robux it's really not bad it contains four locomotives three sd70 max and that cursed bn Givo. why does this exist the developer felt devious the difference between the bn executives is that that all three have different patchwork. The first one is not patched at all, it's still in the original paint scheme. The second variant is patched in H2, and the third one patched in H3. Sadly, the executives don't have a special horn, but the executive is an iconic paint scheme, and it's also cheap, so 9 out of 10. Number 3, the SD70 Tier 4s. This game pass will cost you 100 Robux, and it will give you 6 SD70 Tier 4s and 1 ES44 Tier 4. I I mean most of the locomotives in the tier 4 game pass are just demos it's just up and csx that officially own a tier 4 and the demos are still owned by emd the tier 4 is also a quiet locomotive and these locomotives also have special horns and the sd70 tier 4s are such unique locomotives in the game and this is basically a dollar in usd because how cheap it is unique it is a 10 out of 10 number 4 up 6706 well, this is gonna be the first Fallen Flag Game Pass. I'ma be real honest, 100 Robux for just one locomotive is a little too expensive. And the cool thing about UP6706 is the horn that sounds like the real UP6706. <laughs> Honestly, UP6706 is horn is almost as accurate as the real UP6706. And this will definitely be the first and last locomotive with the CNW paint scheme. Honestly, I was gonna rate it lower than a 5, but I can't forget how accurate the horn sounds like the real thing. So 7 out of 10. Number 5, the CN Game Pass. For 125 Robux, you basically get the whole Canadian National Fleet. Not only does it just give you the normal locomotives it also gives you the heritage units and the fallen flags some of the cn locomotives have an ek rail bell however it's called and this game pass contains two fallen flags the bc rail and the illinois central overall i'm pretty sure this is south line's most worth it game pass and this is only 125 robux so honestly i'd give it an 11 out of 10. number six csx specialty honestly this game pass is so much similar as the canadian national game pass giving you a couple heritage units ac 6000 locomotives which at the time were special before the up ac 6000 thousands and a couple patched csx engines which i'ma be honest the csx game pass wasn't as exciting as the cn game pass but it still gives a decent amount of locomotives so i'ma give it a 9 out of 10 number 7 norfolk southern es44 heritage units i'ma also be honest on this one the norfolk southern es44 heritage units are extremely expensive i'm not even gonna lie this game pass costs 200 robux and gives you six local Locomotives. I don't know about ya, but I think that the locomotives sound a little bit too poorly. And mostly all the locomotives in this game pass share the same bell and horn that the free locomotives also use. And I'm not a really big fan of Norfolk Southern's Jeevo Heritages, so this just gets a 5. Number 8, Chessy System AC6000. I'm not gonna lie. 
this game pass is really pricey it will cost you 200 robux to be fair it is an ac6000 which at the time was a really really unique locomotive i'd say the rarity is a two percent in public servers because i hardly even see this locomotive to begin with this gets a seven honestly good paint scheme and all of that is just too pricey all right last but not least number nine the norfolk southern sd70 ace heritage units this is southline's most expensive game pass of it costing 250 robux it contains 10 locomotives of the first one being savannah and alana new york central beeline service erie virginian wabash jersey central lines illinois terminal penn central and last but not least lackawanna I'm not even gonna lie, mostly all of these have different horns, and as y'all know, I like that. They gave you a pretty decent amount of locomotives for 250 Robux, and at the end of the day, all heritage units are really rare to catch, so I could see why this is expensive. But yeah, I will give this game pass a 10 out of 10. Honestly, that's about it for today's video. If you like this video, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And thank y'all guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one. Goodbye.